Hello everybody, my name is Bodens and welcome back to Finding Fortune, another one of your daily episodes because you keep on hitting the like target. But today I'm going to think of, or tomorrow I'll be doing maybe a double episode if this if the spot on this episode gets really a lot. Um, I'll definitely do a double episode tomorrow for you all. I don't know if I can put one out today because I'm off to my hometown match. Um, so, you know, just uh, support it as always. And I have a few questions to ask you all today and I really do need your feedback on all of it. Um, and a few requests as well. Um, but we're just going to talk about a little bit of the training at the start of this episode. Basically, yesterday um, I'm not at college on a Friday, so I am usually trading for about 12 till 3, and I picked up a lot of deals. And uh, lately, uh, you may know that the sales, I mean, the people are, that I'm buying are selling as fast as they used to. Maybe it's the market just um, stabilizing a little bit more and the demand for players going a little bit further down. Especially with the new card coming out, I don't know what the market's going to be like on FIFA. Um, so, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe deals will come around better or not, not as many markets on the, not as many players on the market, but you never know. And um, we picked up these two Kagawas here in 433, both in cam, but both for like a thousand coins less than the next buy now in line. Um, I, I bought one and then you see I came off that screen and then um, there were another one was placed onto the market straight away. The 7.8k one we put up for 8.8k and I think the other one was 7.5k and we put him up for 8.7k. Um, so that means we, that's like a little bit less than a thousand coin profit on both of them which is well, going to be like 1600 or 1800 coins possibly which is always awesome and um, as always guys I am investing in Colachini and Inlet a lot of people ask why I've got them in the trade pile I'm just going to wait until their price reeks, reaches a point where I would like to sell them um, Colachini's price probably be 32k and then I want to sell him Inlet's price 20k and we'll see what's happening with him um, that is assuming that my investing has even worked but I mean it's definitely worked for like a couple of k but I would like it to work a little bit more than that um, one request right now would be the mic quality. Um, I really want to know your opinion on it. Just tell me below. I know I told you last episode that I'd changed it, but I think this I think it is brilliant. But I just want to know your opinion on it. Does it sound better? Um, another one is my second channel. Yesterday I said in the description that I have I just created a second channel for COD when that comes out. Um, I'm going to do a load of other games on there as well. But right now, if you want to go to my second channel, guys, the link is in the description. The link is fixed now. So go down there and subscribe for some COD stuff and other stuff that isn't FIFA. If you do like me, just in general, then go over there. I'll do some heart to heart commentaries, whatever. Um, so really go down there. Maybe even vlogs, because I do have a camera and everything. So really, please do go down to the bottom of there and just subscribe. Just pause the video now and go subscribe. I will release a video on there sometime. Um, and hopefully you do enjoy that. So please, please, please. If we could get like 100 subscribers, because we do have like 5k on this, which is absolutely awesome. But 100 subscribers on there would mean as a loss as well. And you see that all the players we did buy actually did sell awesomely. Um, and apart from that Juan Mata, in striker position, um, and we are, we do lower his price a little bit. We don't think I think we do make a K profit off him anyway. Um, in the end, but uh, right now we put him up for 50k, I think, and he just wasn't selling at the time. And the final thing I just wanted to discuss quickly: my upload schedule. At the weekend, I'm going to try and put a double episode out every weekend of something. Um, in the weekdays, I want to know if you prefer a 4 o'clock release or like an 8 o'clock release of my episodes. So there's like a far difference there. I do, I think that it gets better reception at 8 o'clock but I think growth wise it's better to upload at 4 o'clock I'm really I'm really unsure so whatever you need guys tell me I would really like to just upload to prefer to you guys so on, on all them things guys please go subscribe to my second channel if you'd enjoy COD or anything like that or me in general um, tell me my upload schedule and the other question I asked which I can't remember right now um, tell me that as well um, but anyway we're going to go back into trading I really would like all your feedback on that and we're going to go into Higuain and we get him for 7k we think we put him for 8.3k which is going to be a around a, a, a 1k profit and we go and get this great buy on this Kaka, I really w did enjoy this. Um, he was converted to a CM in 433 so I, I bought him for 8.4k and we're preparing for the overnight sale now so we put him up for 12 hours and we put him up for I think 13,500 coins which that will return around a 3.5k profit, I can't remember what that one on my head, um, but that is a very nice buy indeed. And we go and pick up this Farfan as well, he is in the Bundesliga, you should know who he is, 41212, um, not, much profit, not that much profit on him but still profit in the end and um, 5.6k we're selling for we got him for 4.8k that's like a what 300 coin profit but it doesn't matter it's still profit in the end and we're going to pick up this Lucas next and we got him in um, I've never actually traded with him before but we got him in 442 cam and we got him for 6.1k and I think we just put him up for like 8k or something like that um, I did speed up the clip here because I was messing around with the, um, the price functions for some random reason going crazy and you see Farfan and Higuain did sell a little bit after that and 228k with a lot of players selling and a lot of players invested in it is pretty awesome indeed and our final buy I think for this episode is this Johnson in 4 one 2 RM position and we sell, I think we got him for 3.5k and we put him up for about 4.3k which is going to return a few hundred coins of profit again 
So that's the end of the episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Lucas and Johnson did sell. Um, please answer all the questions that I asked. What do you think to the mic quality, um, my upload schedule, and about my second channel? So please go all over there and do everything that you want to do. If you're not here, subscribe for more. I hope you all have a great day.